Welcome to Nerd Social. I'm Nathan. I'm John. And I'm Colin. So we're going to talk about episode seven of WandaVision, which is called Fourth Wall Break or something like that. Beyond Breaking the Fourth, the fourth wall. wall. Breaking the Fourth Wall. Breaking oh, the Fourth Wall. Beyond the Fourth Wall. So we're pretty deep into the, the season, as I mentioned last week. So we're just going to jump into the conversation instead, instead of giving our, our spoiler-free impressions of the episode. So right now, spoiler alert, as uh, we jump into this conversation going forward. So John, do you want to start off with what you thought was interesting about this episode? Starting from any, any sure. part point? Yeah, this one was a homage to Modern Family, one of my favorite shows. And uh, and certainly the, the beginning intro of it seemed to be aping The Office, another of my favorite shows as well. And so we got some revelations here, big revelations, some that pretty much confirmed what we thought it was going to be, getting right to Agnes, by the way, and we'll talk more about Agnes, and also a revelation of who Monica becomes, finally. Again, we were all speculating that she would turn into this superhero character, but I, didn't, I honestly didn't expect her to turn into it during the series. I thought it would happen later. So we also got more interaction with Darcy uh, in there. We could always use more Darcy. Hey, Marvel give her her own show. Yeah. Darcy, and this time playing off of Paul Bettany, and I thought there were some gems in there, definitely. So, yeah. all in all, I'll, another fun episode. Yeah, for me, I feel as though there definitely was a lot more humor. Can I help you, Creeper? You don't remember me from last night? We locked eyes. That was a unspoken understanding. Um, hard pass. Wait up! <sighs> Fine, I'll go out with you, but I'm ordering the lobster. I would say, for humor that I was very, I mean, it's not as though one of which Vision has not had a lot of humor, but I felt as though I was laughing through a lot of the humor because maybe it has to do with the relevancy of the modern family slash office type of sitcom setting that I'm much more familiar with. So I laughed a lot more at the awkward silences and things. So definitely I enjoyed it a lot more in terms of the humor part. And also there's the commercial, which is very interesting too, because we did mention last week about the Nexus. And so it's, it's so, so interesting that the prescription is actually named Nexus. So wondering if they were actually going back to Star Trek with that or some other reason as to why they named the prescription nexus and i just found that very fascinating yeah it was it was a good episode as you said john we we got a we got a lot of reveals that we were speculating on over the last couple of weeks for those people who don't watch our, our theories videos we, a lot of the things that we were speculating actually happened some of the things that we we speculated about haven't happened yet or or, or may not happen but mm. we've been talking about agatha Sorry, Agnes is Agatha Harkness for a while now. The name's Agatha Harkness. Lovely to finally meet you, dear. I guess the internet mm -hmm. has. I guess the internet has been talking about about her. Everyone knew knew that Monica Rambeau is a superhero in the comics, so we we expected her to show up as a, a hero at some point. But as you said, John, I didn't I didn't know they were going to do it in the series, but apparently they're going to do it in the series. We'll we'll see. She even sort of got her super suit. Like everyone everyone here was in in their in their comic book accurate colors. The uh, the wardrobe people they put them in their comic accurate colors. So by the time she got out of her her space suit, she was using her she was wearing her black and black and white, which is the same color scheme as her yep. her comic suit. And Wanda for the entire series has been in red a lot. And, and Billy, Billy and Tommy were in their colors as well. So they, there are a lot of comic references. And Colin, that the reference to Nexus actually, it's called the Nexus in in Star Trek. But actually, I think that was a reference to Wanda being a Nexus, which is basically a being mm. that has access to other realities. 
So there are nexus, okay. there are nexus beings on each realm of, of existence, and they have a conduit to other realms of existence. And that, and Wanda is the nexus being for her universe, or I guess in, oh. in the comics it's the six one six universe. But I guess she's the she's the nexus being for the MCU universe too. And I forget what the comic number for the MCU is, but she's the nexus being. So I think that's what they're referencing there okay. with, with the nexus thing. But it, but it is interesting that different fictional properties use that term nexus. And it's, it, 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 uh, it's, it's a, it means something completely different in Marvel Comics. But given that we have this situation where Wanda is creating her own fantasy place, that's similar to the nexus that was in Star Trek. So so it's, it's interesting how, how things are paralleling there, even though they, they mean different things in different, in different properties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, along with the Nexus, we also got the. I, I don't know if there's if they, if they meant this or not, but the Reality Stone colors that was right next to the word Nexus in the commercial. So that was that was something I called out as soon as I saw that. So uh, again, I wasn't sure if that's what they were intending to invoke. So you said that the Reality Stone colors. What which which yeah. color? Yeah, so it had a bright red splotch right on the side mm-hmm. next to the Nexus label that was right at the bottom of the screen. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, huh, yeah. that's supposed to be the reality stone? What are they trying to do there? Does it really have anything to do with this? So it got me thinking about that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, folks, I just wanted to pause to say if you're enjoying the conversation, if you're finding it useful, engaging, entertaining, any of the above... <laughs> Please like the video below. It really helps the channel grow, and we would really appreciate it. All right, back to it. And in, in addition to Monica's powers, and Ag- she, she's fooled me enough that I keep calling her Agnes. Agatha's <laughs> reveal at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also got a little from Hayward. It seems like he's staging an assault, which is interesting because, and, and this is without getting into speculation, because we'll get into speculation later on. So when Monica and... Jimmy are in the Humvee and they're going to meet their their contact. Jimmy gets the email that Darcy sent, and they speculate that Hayward was never able to bring Vision to life, but he obviously was able to create something because he's going to launch something. Make sure the team has everything they need. We launched today. Yes, sir. So he was able to glean, pull pull something from Vision. We, I guess we'll see next week what the result of his experimenting on Vision's body will be. He kind of left that in the air. Just like the Goodner thing. Again, I, I guess I thought we would we'd finish our speculation about who the, the aerospace engineer is. And it doesn't, mm-hmm. doesn't seem like the speculation is over. Unless everyone thinks that it's Goodner. <laughs> but, right. uh, and it's possibly, it's possibly Goodner. But I feel like they wouldn't have hyped it up as much as they did unless they, they they're just they're just messing with us it's possible because they know that everyone's going to be looking at every corner of this show it's possible perhaps unless they pulled yeah. a last jedi and just completely killed our <laughs> fan theory about who it could be yeah or expecting something more and it turns out to be nothing so yeah yeah, yeah i yeah i don't think it's gonna i think that they are pretty intentional about what they want to do if they didn't mention aerospace engineer that prominently then or as like a passing, they probably wouldn't, we wouldn't probably be speculating. But at the same time, because it's so obviously that they're trying to present someone, mm-hmm. I mean, in the past, Marvel has done that constantly to try to hint at someone. So I don't think that they're just going to leave that unnoticed. And going back to a little bit about Agatha as well is, and I was mentioning with my family as they watched it, was how... How Marvel does not really want to overcomplicate things. They like to simplify things when when things are overly complicated. They want to simplify it. So Agnes is a very complicated character. They simplify that. Or when when they are in a situation where a comic book origin story, like how Monica's comic book origin story is very complicated, they try to weave it into the MCU universe in some way. So. I think that those are the kind of the two tracks that you're looking for. And going back to the aerospace engineer, again, they're not going to just not point that out and not, and just leave it alone. It's probably going to be paid off somehow in the next couple of episodes, hopefully so that we can have at least some ideas to who that is. Yeah. 
I think the only other thing I, I think one of you guys mentioned was the I guess uh, Vision and Darcy's road trip was funny and I think that they basically put those two characters in a holding pattern because they sort of have to bridge to the next episode which is sometimes mm -hmm. what they do and it's sometimes what they do in shows, but it was still comical. That I think that was the most office part of the show. I mean, so I, it seems like Wanda was in, inside of a Modern Family episode. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. And Vision was inside of an office office episode because he even got the reactions to to camera like uh, Jim Halpert used to do. Like his his, his yes. like, he's like, do you believe what's going on? Reactions to to, to camera. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. And also, Vision is up to speed with the rest of us. The rest of us who've, who've watched all 23 of the, the Marvel movies. If you haven't watched all 23 of the Marvel movies, watch our Easter egg video. I'll, I'll point out all, all the all the movies that they're talking about because we got references to Age of Ultron, Infinity War. Mm -hmm. So he, he got his backstory and everything downloaded by Darcy in, in the car there. Or, or in, the, in, the, in, the, in the funnel cake truck. <laughs> So if I understand correctly, my original code dates back to an AI called Jarvis, but my corporal form was born of Ultron's plan for global genocide. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, she, she basically did a brain dump on, <laughs> on Vision about everything that's going on. Definitely the mouthpiece of the fans and in, in keeping him up to date on what's been happening. She, she even said, I always wanted to be in WandaVision. You know... Part of me secretly wanted a guest spot on the show, but seriously, that sucked. It was just so weird to hear right. someone. <laughs> yeah, that was very meta. That was that was an extremely meta type of thing that she said, was that I always want to be in WandaVision. And I love watching WandaVision, like watching your love story. So I just thought that that was just so out of body experience that she's now in WandaVision. And she was watching it just maybe a few days ago. Yeah. Found that very, very out of body type of thing. Yeah, the writer, the writers of the show, the 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 complex levels of meta that they're they're creating, it's 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 fun to it's really fun to watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Let me see if I we miss anything else before I, we start getting into theories because it's difficult to talk about this show without getting into theories. But I want to make sure we, we recap everything or, or, or talk about everything that was important. We 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 don't know where Billy and Tommy are. <laughs> By the end of this, mm -hmm. by the end of this episode, we, which is a question that we can delve into and and speculate on when we get into theories. But the kids are gone, and then Agnes, I keep saying calling her Agnes, Agatha, <laughs> reveals herself at the end of this episode as a wielder of power or a magical mm -hmm. a magical person. And for those purple who, magic, purple magic. And mm -hmm. if you go back, <laughs> if you go back to previous episodes, she also also is always wearing purple are wearing purple a lot, just like Wanda's almost always wearing red. So that was a hint. That Didn't was she hint. also have the purple hair, right? Did I remember that correctly? When she was the Halloween episode? Did yeah, it could have been a Halloween hair? episode. There's a, there a little bit of purple Maybe. hair. Yeah, she was, a, she was a witch. Yeah. Which was also, mm -hmm. which was also a tell. She was, she was a witch with, with, yeah. uh, with, with, purple <laughs> hair, with purple hair. Yes, Agatha Harkness in the comic, and again, this isn't speculation, this is knowledge from the comics. And as Colin said, what happens in the comics might may or may not mean anything, but Ag Agatha Harkness is a, is a witch who helped Wanda have her children in the comics. Mm. So, so that's who she is, and she has played an ag antagonist and, and, and also an aide to Wanda at different times of, in her life. So, mm. it seems like they're making her a full antagonist. In this show, and again, we can speculate later on t about whether or not she's acting alone. But right now, she seems, <laughs> given her her theme song, it was Agatha all along. It's been Agatha all along. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think they're, make, they're making her a full a full antagonist. Mm -hmm. We at the end of the show, we saw Petro at the at the end credit scene, so we had an end credit scene as well in this in this episode. Mm -hmm. Saw Petro for a second, and I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but so Monica's eyes glowed blue when she mm -hmm. went through the barrier, which yes. which was an I guess indication of her her power going on, and, and when she was able to like see the electromagnetic spectrum. Mm -hmm. We this is actually our second time 
recording this or recording some of this conversation, but Monica's power set is that she is sort of pure energy. So that I guess that's I guess that was what they were nodding to her ability to see the electrical ma magnetic spectrum. So her, she's blue when she when when she's powered up, and she was blue when she her eyes were blue when she did that superhero landing. <laughs> But, but, mm -hmm. at the, but at the end of the episode, her eyes are purple. So it looks like she's enthralled by either Pedro, I don't know if he has his own powers, or she's enthralled by Agatha by the end of the episode as well, at that after credit scene. So we have two episodes left. Seems that we're going to get a giant, a lot of giant superhero battles in these two, in mm -hmm. these two episodes. A lot of magic being thrown around, and maybe we get Pedro super speed scene similar to the one in X-Men, I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But also, it was very noticeable, and I think that we're, we're probably going to get into this in theory, is that Pietro had that, I think that Agnes, or Agatha now, had made Pietro appear at in the front door of, of Wanda's house. So, just wondering, that's very interesting to wonder if that's a figment of Agatha's magic, or was that, again, like a throw-off that... It wasn't actually her that made Pietro appear. That he actually appeared through a different universe. That was very. I, I just when I saw that, I saw that purple dust kind of steam coming out from him. I'm like, wow, that's kind of interesting. There. Yeah, it's hard to tell. And again, like you said, we can get into this when we start speculating. <laughs> but it's hard mm -hmm. to tell what's going on there. We just know that of the cut scenes with her theme music at the end, Pietro was definitely one of the things that she took she took credit for. We don't know how mm -hmm. he showed up there or why he showed up there. Mm -hmm. If he's controlled by her or if he's not even real, it's it's re really difficult to tell because she. They, just before the Pedro scene, they showed the scene with the rabbit and and her her mm -hmm. using the powers, and it, I think she was just moving the rabbit around. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she was doing in that scene that would would have actually been a hindrance to. Wanda or Vision, because if I if I recall that scene correctly, the bunny was just I guess hopping away. I'm not sure how that screwed anything up, but I guess we we'll see next week, and I guess we can also widely speculate when we get <laughs> we we get into theories. But yeah, I didn't I didn't really see how she was messing anything up there. I, I guess not all the cut scenes that they showed were necessarily she screwing something up. It was mm. although. I did tell you guys last week that I didn't believe her when she was talking, she was talking to Vision. She's just, just flat out lying, and then we see her in the car. Mm. Then we see her at the in the car, basically vamping for Vision. So she was she was straight up lying. Yeah. Like, oh, she won't let us. She won't let we us out. Yeah, her. yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she kind of fooled me there. Definitely. She. I will oh, say. Yeah. I will Definitely say. Me. I will say that. Before we get into theories, I never believed her last week but it, i will say that what happened was it put me on the wrong track because it started making me think that there was someone else besides agnes and i've been i've been suspicious of agnes for the entire show and i thought mm -hmm. maybe there was another person as well and that the last episode made me think maybe there's someone else as well as agnes but now i don't know now now i'm, I'm more right back suspicious on agnes as is the, mm. the main mover because she basically said it was her. So at the end, mm. I guess I guess at this point we're going to end the video here. But we're interested to hear from you guys. Did we miss anything on this episode that you thought was interesting? Comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.